So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to our GFG Beauty this week of day 136. So I hope everyone of you guys are practicing well. Let us see what the today's question is about and what are all the different approaches we can think and code of. So today's question name is Eek hates too many ones. The tags are a bit magic in data structures. So let us read the question that given a non-negative integer and so it's a positive integer, you are allowed to make set bit unset. So I'm set bit to unset the set that is we can uh, make one to zero. So you have to find the maximum possible value of the query so that after performing the given operations, no three consecutive bits of the integers query are set bits. Okay, so only constraint of, of this question is that the three consecutive bits of the given integer should not be set, right? If that's the case, then do the query, then uh, one to zero is such that the such that the number aapka badla, right? The number you uh, form after this query will be the maximum possible, right? So when you say that you have to form a maximum possible number, that means that you need to perform the operations from the least significant side, right? Least significant significant side is nothing but suppose we have this bits, let's say you have this bits one, 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 right? So this side has the weightage of two power zero. If I if I tell you to convert this uh, bit system into this uh, decimal, then what you will do? That you will do one for this last set, but you will say one into two two power zero. For this, you will say one into two power one, similarly two power two and two power three, and you will sum this two power three plus two power two, two power one, two power zero. So it will give you eight plus four twelve plus two fourteen and fifteen, right? So you can say that this bit, the left, the rightmost side, the rightmost side has the lowest weightage, right? So if if I have the three consecutive set bit like this, then if I then what can I do? To, to get the maximum possible answer, I should convert this last bit to zero, right? And this side is known as the least significant bit because the weightage is the lowest at this side. And if you convert it, you will get one one zero. But if you do not do so, if you convert this one to zero, that is from the most significant side that is having the highest weightage, you will get zero one and one. Your condition will be satisfied that three consecutive bits are not uh, one simultaneously, but you also want the maximum possible answer, right? So to get the maximum possible answer, you need to do the operations from the this one, the least significant side, right? So that means if you have the bit, then you have to traverse from this, from this you have to traverse from the let's say leftmost to rightmost. So I hope you are clear to this point, right? Okay. So the intuition The moment I read the question, this. Uh, uh, logic came to my mind that if you want the poss maximum possible query, then what we need to do. Let us see the input and output. So output n is 7. For 2, there is no 3 consecutive 1 possible. So the answer uh, itself is 2, right? So for n equals to 7, they are given as n equals to 6. So there are 3 consecutive bits. This is not allowed. So we perform the operation and change the set bit. Now the number. So you can see that 111 has converted to 110 and not 011, right? Because we want the maximum possible answer. And it, has, it is mentioned also, it satisfies the given condition, hence the maximum possible value is 6. Let us see how we can do this solution. So first of all, I need to open my integer into the 32-bit binary system, right? Let us see the constraint, that what the constraint is and how many bits are required. So it is 10 power 9, right? If you search the 32-bit range, then it is somewhat on 2 into 10 power 9 range, right? So if we take just the 32-bit integer system, bit system, then this n would be completely be formed, right? So let us make a 32-bit system. So it will be starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 29, 30, 31, right? So this will be our first step. So let us code the first step and then we will move ahead. Uh, the first step will be just to make a, let's say int set is equals to new int 32. Right. This will be to store the bits 0 and 1. So that's it for the first step. Now what we have to do, the integer was uh, the integer was 7, 1 and then 1, 1, 1, right? So what can I do here is, first let us open this bit. So the first till 0 to 28, it will be 0, right? And the last 1 and 1 will be stored here, right? And how we, how we can store this thing here? How we can store this thing? We already discussed multiple times. And then multiple times discussed here, here, whenever let's say you have this set, 101 or uh, let's say you have 111 now i need to check that if one i need to check if this bit is 
set or not then what i do i place the one here and rest all the entries as zero and i do the and right because this zero and this zero ensures that the rest of the bits will be zero and only just have placed the one here because i wanted this position to check if set or unset it will exactly copy this bit here right right and i can say that check if, if it's not equal to zero then my the bit which i was checking for is set how we can write this thing so let's say so this was this one was having the weight is 2 power 0 this was 2 power 1 and this is 2 power 2 and if you see that this is nothing but 2 power 1 right so you can always check the and operation with the uh, with the exact square with the exact weightage right so similarly if i want to check this thing this this is my the last bit of my n equals to 7 right this is this this is this is bit right if i check i have to check it with 2 power 0 similarly you have to check this with 2 power 1 and 2 power 2 so tk okay, basically 2 power 0 click check and then 2 power 1 and 2 power 2 and similarly for this thing i have to check 2 power 31 right so since the i pointer is from 0 to 31 then how can i write how can i write so let's iterate for let's say i equals to uh, 0 or let us iterate from the back so i can say that for i equals to 31 i greater than equals to 0 i minus minus right what can i do how can i do that if the bit is set or not so i need to check that this bit i have to i have to do n and right i have to so if n and 2 power 0 if it, I have to write like this if n and 2 power 0 if it is not equals to 0 then i will say then i will say that set of i is equals to 1 and i am writing this for last entry so 2 power 0 can be written in terms of i and can it be written so i can write it as 31 minus i right 31 minus 31 will be 0 similarly for this i can write 31 minus i so 31 minus 30 will give you 1 right so instead of writing 2 power 0 here what can I substitute? I'm explaining you to the very ground, the uh, native, native, uh, from the native you can say, right? So I have to check if n and 2 power 31 minus i, right? And this 2 power 31 minus i can also be written with the left shift operator. I can write it as 1 left shift 2 power, 1 left shift 32 minus i, right? Because 1 left shift x is nothing but 1 into 2 to power x, right? You can say that so similarly 1 2 power 31 minus i can further be written as n and 1 left shift 32 minus i if it is not equals to 0 then it will set it will uh, uh, then this implies from this condition if it is not equals to 0 then that means that the particular bit you are checking is set so i will appoint this as set now now you have this array system now with you you have this array system now with you right where you have completely opened your n equals to 7 into a 32 bit array now what is the logic now what is the question saying right so before proceeding on let's quote this two steps and then we will proceed on with the rest of the code right and since i have shown you the pseudo code as well uh, for this thing all right the logic is still yet to come but i have explained you to compute our logic we need the binary set right of 32 bit so you have to first open it into an integer array then only you can perform the operations so I highly recommend you to pause the video and do this pseudo code um, in your editor, right? Okay, so I have written the exact pseudo code I explained to you. This was the first step to make a 32-bit system, and this is the second step to open the decimal number into 32-bit system, right? So we are good to go on this path. So let us let us continue with the the intuition, right? So the intuition here was intuition here was let's say you have uh, one, one, and one, 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 and one. So what you did and before this one there are multiple zeros right uh, let's just say 29 zeros 30 31 32 yes 29 zeros so what can i do is let's suppose my pointer is here right or or, or let's say let's take a, a bigger example let's say 1 1 1 and 1 and there are multiple zeros so this one is having 2 power 3 weightage this one is having 2 power 2 weightage this is having 2 power 1 and this is 2 power 0 right so what i will check i have to move from the rightmost uh, sorry from the leftmost to the rightmost right and for this one and one if there is uh, there is three consecutive one then i will not this make as zero right because this will give you the minimum possible answer so i have to make this one as zero so that my maximum possible answer can be possible right so suppose my pointer is that here because the rest of the things on the left is zero so i'm just showing you the dry run from here so we are here at this point and you can see that it's one right so let's say it's the i pointer 
right so if it is 1 you need to include in your answer so answer will be nothing but answer was initially 0 it will be nothing but 2 power 3 8 right so and i can i, I can write it as answer plus equals to 1 left shift 2 power uh, 1 left shift 3 i can write right so it will be 8 similarly here i will check that if i plus 1 if the i plus 1 index is also pointing equals to 1 then you definitely have to make the i plus 2 index as 0 right uh, the array element the bit at the uh, set the name was set right so set let me write it as set so if set of i plus 1 is 1 also just the next index then you have to make this index as 0 right because there will be no three consecutive uh, ones present at one place so even if it is 0 even it was if it was 0 then let's write this statement let's uh, smart code it and do not uh, include one more if to check if i plus 2 is also 1 right so as soon as you get two ones at i and i plus 1 just make this thing as 0 right so we have done this thing this will be our first step now the second step will be what the your i pointer will be pointing at this point now right so since this is also equals to 1 so include in your answer so it will be answer is nothing but 8 plus the weight is here is 2 4 so it will be 8 plus 4 12 right and it will check that if i plus 1 is equals equals to 1 or not if the set of i plus 1 so it will see that it is not right so it will just skip and will go to the third iteration and now the pointer will be at this point the weightage of 2 power 1 and it will say that this is already updated to 0 right so it will skip this iteration it will go to the, the last and it will see that it's, it is again 1 so it will include in the answer that answer plus equals to the weightage here is just 1 so it will be a 12 plus 1 13 right so I can say for n equals to uh, 1 1 1 1 1 if you convert into the decimal it will be I guess 15 so for n equals to 15 my answer should be 13 right if if 7 is converted into 6 then using the same logic the 15 should be converted into 13 so i hope you are on the same page as me so let us verify this thing and then we will we will make sure that our approach is right and then we will move ahead right so let us check for 15 let us check for 15 and compile and then use the one compilation we have here and we will see that if 13 comes or not great expected output is 13 so we are on the same page guys we have taken care of all the constraints given by the question so let us code now right so what should be the pseudo code i can write so i need to start from this pointer from this pointer and then i have to traverse still here let me use a different color from here to here right so what can i say is what can i say is that i have to mention a for loop for i equals to zero to i less than equals to how many digits now there is one question here right so if i just exactly mention the pointers the index the actual index so it will be 0 1 2 till less till it will be it will be 29 it will be 30 31 and let's say this pointer was okay so i have to edit it again so let's say it was uh what it should be 28 it should be 29 it would be 30 it would be 31 right in our array so this would be our array and I started checking from this zero, right? So first three bits will be checked. Then from first to again, three bits will be checked, right? So that means after if I come to 29, so this will be my last point of iteration so that a, a, a window of three elements can be formed. If I check at the i equals to 30, then 31 will be checked, but 32 will be go out of bounds, right? So to, uh, to do not incur that error we need to just check till i equals to less than 39 so my for loop will be updated to i less than equals to 39 i plus plus if you do not understand this for loop please go back to the video a few few minutes back and then try to apprehend it right so let us move on so what i was doing what i was doing i was checking that if set of i is equals equals to one in my this dry run i was always checking if it is one then include it in my answer so i will say that answer plus equals to nothing but 1 left shift 32 31 minus i now how, how i have written like this so let us come back to the this code again so this is 28th index right and if you consider uh, this uh, weightage it is nothing but it has three bits up ahead so it, it has the weightage of 2 power 3 so 2 power 3 in terms of index can be written as 2 power 31 minus 3 i hope i am right yeah so it'll be 30 i am right so Similarly, for this index for 2 power 39, the weightage is 2 power 2, but 2 power 2 can further with, uh, will be written in index of i will be 31 minus 2, right? So I am right. 
so yeah i hope you're getting this point as well so we will include that bit in an answer using this 2 power x is nothing but 1 left shift x right so that's what i have written 1 left shift 31 uh, minus i right now what i was checking that after doing this thing this first step in the statement i was checking that if set of the next bit is also equals to 1 right so i plus 1 is also equals to 1 then what you need to do irrespective of set of i plus 2 is without checking i can just say that mark that third bit as 0 because the question says that the three bits cannot be one simultaneously right three consecutive bits cannot be one so i marked it as 0 right so if statement this if statement will uh, close here and this if will close here and the for loop will close here right so i hope you are clear with this point i have showed you the dry run as well but one more thing we need to handle is that we checked we checked from 0 to uh, i equals to 29 we need to handle 30 and 31 index as well because if the last two indexes are pointing to 1 let's say if in this 31 was pointing to 1 right so for i equals to 29 will not consider if just uh, that's for loop for i equals to 0 to 29 will not have this into consideration if the bit at the 38th index and the 31st index is 1 right so explicitly we have to mention it after this while loop ends we i have to mention it that if set of uh, the last bit was 30 if it is equals equals to 1 then include in the answer as well and you can you can clearly see that the last the second last bit will have the power of 2 power 1 right will have the weightage of 2 power 1 and this has the 2 power 0 so you can clearly see it is 2 and it is 1 so let us just write it so i will say that answer plus equals to 2 and one more if for if set is equals to the last bit 31 if it is also pointing to 1 then I will also include that in my answer that is answer plus equals to 1 and we will finally getting our answer. So for the same thing for n equals to 13 the same uh, the same we were getting to 13 for 15 to 13 right. So I have already give you the pseudo code as well as and the explanation as well please pause the video here try to uh, code this pseudo code into your, into your editor and try to run and compile your code and then we will see right and then get back to the video maybe after 5 to 7 minutes so let me code this solutions this pseudo code i explained to you for uh, for you guys and we will resume the video then okay so i have mentioned the same pseudo code which i explained to you that for i equals to 0 to less than 29 we will run the for loop and the last two if we have handled right we know the weightage was 2 and 1 so we directly plus the solution as 2 and 1 since the set, set bit is 1 then we need to consider it in an answer you know why i have done 31 minus i right and if the second bit is 1 then you need to consider the third bit as 0 right and this for loop is nothing but traversing don't mind the spelling traversing from uh, from left to right or i can say the most significant to least significant right so that this constraint can be in play that the maximum possible value would be our answer right just for this constraint i'm traversing from most significant to least significant yeah so let us compile and run this thing and then we will see for ourselves that if our code uh, if our logic and code are on the same page or not so definitely your output and expected output matches let us discuss the time complexity before submit the button so what are we using here we are using a 32 bit integer array so that is a constant you can just ignore it as you can just consider it as o of 1 we are running two for loops that is the worst we are running for all the bits that is o of 32 that also you can consider it as constant so the time complexity will, will be o of 1 as well as the space complexity will, will also be o of 1 as it is mentioned here right and that is definitely less than much less than 10 power 8 so this solution must get submitted so let us see let us wait for the results and then we will uh, see the c++ approach okay so that's great this code got submitted let us look at the c++ code as well because it should be not a uh, problem for c++ user as well so this was uh, this code has uh, like uh, uh, not many changes there we just have to uh, in the java we made the integer array as int set equals to new int whereas in the c++ you just need to set int set the size and if you initialize with zero then you just have to write like this c++ may be uh, apprehending this code much better so this is the c++ code on the left hand side so that is it for today's video and uh, one last thing here yeah, that if you are new to this channel and if you like my content the way of teaching the way of apprehending the problem the way of tackling the problem then please subscribe and it would be better for me that so that we can uh, so that we can come tomorrow and make the video with full energy time and patience right so let us meet 
in the tomorrow's video of day 137 till then keep learning keep growing bye bye and take care